हेलो प्लस टू स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रुचिता शर्मा लेक्चरर इन इंग्लिश जी एस 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 बर्थी टुडे वी शिल कम्प्लीट लेसन एट मेमोरीज ऑफ चाइल्डहुड फ्रॉम योर बुक विद स्टार्स बाय रीडिंग पार्ट थ्री द लेसन इज अबाउट टू विमेन ऑथर्स जित कला सा एंड बामा हु फेस्ड इनजस्टिस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इनडिस्क्रिमिनेशन ड्यू टू रेस एंड इनडिस्क्रिमिनेशन ड्यू टू कास्ट वेन दे वर यंग चिल्ड्रन at that time they were too young to be heard but later they raised their voice by using the power of the pen to expose their exploiters today our learning outcomes are first reading part 3 of the lesson memories of childhood by zit kala sa and bama this part 3 having been written by bama second forward in hindi third critically analyze part 3 fourth a glance at the glossary and fifth browsing through the main questions and answers students have you ever felt a prick in your heart if you were ever insulted by any of your elders or strangers or anyone else in the society you live for some weakness you had or a weakness you did not have or a weakness you did not consider was after all a weakness students Have you ever felt a lesser human being or made to feel a lesser human being or have you had a f- feeling of some handicap due to your color caste race gender or creed what has been your reaction to such things Do you feel angry, sad, ashamed or all of these? Do you think that nature or God has made us differently or equally? Is it right of human beings to be cruel towards other human beings because others are less privileged or backward or not so good looking or so on? Is it a laughable matter? or is it something serious and relates to human rights do you know that the native people of asia africa and america have been insulted by the so called white people of europe for centuries and treated as slaves are you aware that now slavery is a crime and government of india has given special privileges like a reservation in jobs education etc to the underprivileged to wipe out discrimination thus students this lesson is an eye opener because it leads us to the ground level where inequalities take place and people suffer and become victims to upper caste whims and norms Let's ne- read the text to know what exactly the Tamil author Bama had to suffer as a child. विद्यार्थियों आज हम पढ़ेंगे कैसे इस पाठ की लेखिका बामा पाठक को अपने अतीत में ले जाती है वह हमें उसके साथ बचपन में हुए भेदभाव से परिचित कराती है वह एक तमिल दलित परिवार से संबंध रखती थी जिससे समाज में पूर्ण स्वतंत्रता वह आदर प्राप्त नहीं था दूसरे लोग उनके लोगों को बेगारी में मशगूल करवाते थे और उन्हें हीन भावना का शिकार होना पड़ता था लेखिका का बाल मन उत्पीड़न महसूस करता है वह बहुत उग्र हो जाती है परंतु उसका बड़ा भाई उसे अपनी ऊर्जा को पढ़ाई में लगाने के लिए प्रेरित करता है ताकि वह खूब पढ़े और अपनी विद्या से अपने प्रतिद्वंद द्वंदियों को मुंह तोड़ जवाब दे सके आओ अब पार्ट थ्री पढ़ना शुरू करें 
Just then, an elder of our street came along from the direction of the bazaar. The manner in which he was walking along made me want to double up. I wanted to shriek with laughter at the sight of such a big man carrying a small packet in that fashion. I guessed there was something like wadai or green banana bhaji in the packet because the wrapping paper was stained with oil. He came along holding out the packet by its string without touching it. I stood there thinking to myself, if he holds it like that, won't the package come undone and the wadais fall out? The elder went straight up to the landlord, bowed low and extended the packet towards him, cupping the hand that held the string with his other hand. The landlord opened the parcel and began to eat the wadais. After I had washed all this, at last I went home. My elder brother was there. I told him the story in all its comic detail. I fell about with laughter at the memory of a big man and an elder at that, making such a game out of carrying the parcel. But Anna was not amused. Anna told me the man wasn't being funny when he carried the package like that. He said everybody believed that they were upper caste and therefore must not touch it or touch us. If they did, they would be polluted. That's why he had to carry the package by its string. Thus we see what little Bama thought funny was actually something very heinous. A crime was being committed because some people who thought themselves to be upper caste were humiliating the people of the so-called lower caste to do their menial jobs like fetching them snacks from the shops with the condition that the snacks should not come into contact with the person who is holding them, lest they become polluted. This was a gross example of untouchability being practiced so blatantly. It was sheer exploitation of man by man. The old man was Bama's elder. Yahan, bacho, humne dekha ki Bama ki jati ke ek buzurg ko उंची जाति के जमींदार के लिए दुकान से स्नैक्स लाने के लिए भेजा गया वह बुजुर्ग उस लिफाफे से दूरी बनाते हुए तनियों से हास्यस्पद ढंग से पकड़े हुए है बामा को हंसी आती है पर बाद में बामा का बड़ा भाई उसे बताता है कि जमींदार हमारे उस बुजुर्ग के साथ छुआछूत कर रहा था तभी उस बुजुर्ग को लिफाफा दूर रखना पड़, पड़ रहा था नाउ टू रीड द लेसन फर्दर ऑन पेज 99। व्हेन आई हर्ड दिस आई डेंट वांट टू लाफ एनी मोर एंड आई फेल्ट टेरिबली सैड हाउ कुड दे बिलीव दैट इट वाज डिस्गस्टिंग इफ वन ऑफ अस हेल्ड दैट पैकेज इन हिज हैंड्स इवन दो द वडाई हैड बीन रैप्ड फर्स्ट इन अ बनाना लीफ एंड देन पार्सल्ड इन पेपर I felt so provoked and angry that I wanted to touch those wretched wadais myself straight away. Why should we have to fetch and carry for these people? I wondered. Such an important elder of ours goes meekly to the shops to fetch snacks and hands down them over, reverently bowing and shrinking to this fellow who just sits there and stuffs them into his mouth. The thought of it infuriated me. How was it that these fellows thought so much of themselves because they had scrapped four coins together? Did that mean they must lose all human feelings? But we too are human beings. Our people should never run these petty errands for these fellows. We should work in their fields, take home our wages and leave it at that. My elder brother, who was studying at a university, had come home for the holidays. He would often go to the library in our neighboring village in order to borrow books. He was on his way home one day, walking along the banks of the irrigation tank. One of the landlord's men came up behind him. He thought my Anna looked unfamiliar, and so he asked, Who are you, Appa? What's your name? Anna told him his name. Immediately the other man asked, Thambi, on which street do you live? The point of this was 
that if he knew on which street we lived, he would know our caste too. Anna told me all these things. And he added, because we are born into this community, we are never given any honor or dignity or respect. We are stripped of all that. But if we study and make progress, we can throw away these indignities. So study with care. Learn all you can. If you are always ahead in your lessons, people will come to you of their own accord and attach themselves to you. Work hard and learn. The words that Anna spoke to me that day made a very deep impression on me and I studied hard with all my breath and being in a frenzy almost. As Anna had urged, I stood first in my class and because of that many people became my, my friends. Students, in this part we saw that the girl Bama is very furious at the Zamindar's behavior towards her brother. Towards her elder. She wants to rebel. Her elder brother further tells her that the Zamindar's man had asked him his name and address the other day. This he did to ensure her brother's caste and treat him accordingly. Thus, the only way left for Bama, her brother, students, Bama ko jab asliyat yaad hui ki uske buzurg ke saath uski jati ki wajah se zamindar dwara bhed bhav kiya ja raha tha, to wah बहुत उदास हुई और फिर भड़क उठी अगर जमींदार ने चार पैसे जोड़ लिए थे तो क्या इसका अर्थ था कि वह अब कोई मानवीय भावनाओं से कार्य नहीं करेगा हम क्यों इनके छोटे छोटे काम करें हमें सिर्फ इनकी इनके खेतों में कार्य करना चाहिए पगार लेनी चाहिए और उससे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं एक दिन जमींदार का एक आदमी बामा के बड़े भाई का नाम और पता इसलिए जानने के, के लिए उत्सुक था ताकि वह बामा के भाई के साथ फिर जाति के अनुसार ही व्यवहार करे भाई ने बामा को बताया क्योंकि हम इस जाति में पैदा हुए हैं इसलिए हमें आदर नहीं दिया जाता बस विद्या ग्रहण करो और अपना विकास करो यही उम्मीद है अपने को साबित करो फिर बामा ने बहुत मेहनत की और अपनी कक्षा में अव्वल आई इसलिए अब उसके बहुत मित्र बन गए कम ऑन स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द ग्लॉसरी एंड मेक सेंटेंसेस टू नो देयर यूसेज फर्स्ट फ्रेज डबल अप व्हिच मींस लाफ हार्टिली आई यूज टू डबल अप विद लाफ्टर at the jokes my brother cracked number 2 shriek s h r i e k which means yell sentence do not make the baby shriek third word wadai it is a name of a south indian snack my grandma prepared delicious wadais next word provoked which means incited i am provoked by people who ill treat animals next word reverently which means respectfully he was reverently listening to the saint's sermon next word meekly which means humbly The student was meekly standing at the principal's office. Next word straight away which means directly. The sentence the speeding car straight away hit against the sidewalk. Next word arrange 
which means to do small jobs by fetching something sentence i am always eager to run errands for my mother next word unfamiliar which means new this street is quite unfamiliar to me next phrase breath and being which means with all my might or with all my power i shall work hard for the exams with all my breath and being next phrase in a frenzy which means temporary madness i was in a frenzy when i did not find my name in the award list next word urged which means requested my younger sister urged me to accompany her to the shop students let's listen to some question answers now the question is do you agree that injustice in any form cannot escape being unnoticed even by children answer yes it is quite true to say it so we see this in the case of bama as a student of class 3 she felt saw experienced the humiliation by the prevalent caste system in south india she was a tamil dalit woman and had to face the atrocities the people of her community suffered then as a young girl she was helpless but she grew into a strong human and protested against this inhumane behavior the so called upper caste landlords used to insult the people of her community she grew up to raise her voice against her exploiters question number 2 how was bama's experience as that of a victim of the caste system in her situation bama was helpless as a child but she had a daring spirit she was terribly sad at the way her people were treated she was so angry that she wanted to touch the vadai herself she thought why her people should run errands for the inhumane zamindars she argued with her brother she wanted that her people should work in the fields take away their wages and that is all thus we see that uh, on knowing that her people and community face discrimination at the hands of so called upper caste bama feels that her daily life has been hit hard students in this way we have completed reading and discussing analytically lesson number 8 of vistas which is titled memories of childhood written by zitkala sa and bama now students it is time for you to revise and learn have a blessed day ahead